have like no makeup on right now because Sarah needed to use the washroom because she's a little late for work. I decided to work a little bit in the kitchen today so I can eat some food. So I'm enjoying some toast with cheese and berries and then my cup of coffee. Hoping this work day goes well. Um, I have a lot of training to still do myself so I'm going to be working on that as well. I was feeling super extra today so I made a little like cheese and cracker platter while I watch my YouTube videos. I'm watching The Seraphim on Weekly Idol. This is the first video I'm really watching of them. This video though was so good. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, but yeah. Yum. Came home just a little bit ago from going out. We went to a buffet first thing in the morning. Well, not morning, I guess. It was like 11.30, 12 o'clock by the time we got there. So I guess for lunch, but I just woke up. Sarah's only here for five more days. I recorded nothing of what I did today, so don't expect any footage because it's just me talking. Um, we went to the Forks, uh, walked around a bit. I got some iced coffee from Fools and Horses, which is really good. And they added this cute coloring because it's Pride Month. And that was super cute and it was really yummy. I got a lavender iced latte. I uh, highly recommend if you like lavender, it is very florally. I like that their lavender syrup is not like super intense floral. I mean, Austin thought it was disgusting, uh, but what does he know? <laughs> Ooh, I also did a tarot reading. Well, a tarot and palm reading. Why not? I've never done it before and I've always wanted to. And I actually really enjoyed it. I definitely think take it with a grain of salt, but it is fun to listen to. And there are aspects where it's like, whoa, how'd you know that? Or somewhere it's like, oh, that's a little off. But I don't think that it's ever meant to be an exact thing, obviously. Like no one's gonna know word for word everything about your life and about your future. And essentially your future could change at any moment because uh, I believe that you paved your own path. But some of the things she said was really cool. She knew that I was in the business field without me mentioning I was in business, which was really, really interesting. Uh, she didn't mention healthcare though, but she was like, did you ever have any interest in healthcare? And I told her no. Or I guess the counseling is somewhat healthcare if you're thinking about mental health, which I did want to be in. But she mentioned business before I even said anything. She didn't actually ask me any questions, which I really liked. She just spoke and a lot of what she was saying, I just kind of wanted to focus on memorizing what she was saying because my memory sucks. But yeah, she kind of mentioned that business is good for me, specifically finance and economics. And I'm just like, mm, not for me. She's also saying like, she senses like university in my path and continued education. Uh, but I don't think that's, I mean, going to school for HR was my continued education. So she also mentioned that travel is very important. Uh, which I was really surprised about because she knows nothing about my life or about me. And I'm sure travel is just a normal thing that everyone gets. Travel is good that she senses international like business ventures for me. Not necessarily my own business, but she does say she does sense like a business venture in my future as well. She senses that I will find like a corporate job internationally, which is really interesting. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool, because um, I do have dreams of that, but you know, once again, you pave your own life. She senses that Canada will be like my home at the end of the day, but not Manitoba. Uh, she senses mountains, which I'm assuming is either Alberta or BC, which is interesting because I did want to at some point possibly move to Vancouver, but also it's really expensive there, so maybe not, but who knows if I'm working like a cool corporate job, <laughs> although that's not international, but yeah. I think it was a good experience. There was a lot of other things she talked about. It was like a 20 minute session, which was pretty solid, I'd say. I personally really enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm not going to believe everything I hear and I'm not just gonna be like, all right, well, I could just chill now because she told me all these great things that are happening in my life. No, you gotta work towards your life still. Um, but I really enjoyed the whole process. So yeah, that's just my little update for today. I'm currently at home. I'm chilling on the couch. Here's my little baby. Hi. He's been chilling at home all day. So remember when I said we went to a buffet and everything? Well, there's more food now. This is way too much food for one day. I'll have like one or two pieces and then I'm gonna go on a walk. Because, well, maybe when the sun goes down, it's kind of hot, but 
and maybe I'll play some League in the meantime. I know, right? I was just working this. Sarah and Tommy are gonna go for a walk right now. So I got changed into a tank top because it's still really hot out. Okay, now that I'm outside, it's a little chillier than I thought. And part of me wants to go back in and get a sweater, but another part of me feels like once I start walking, I'll be okay and I'll like warm up, so that's my hope. I'm already losing them. <laughs> I'm tired. It's so warm out today. But there's a duck in the water. So cute. <laughs> Look at these. What are they? Pelicans? Do we have those here? I just came home from the walk a little while ago, so now I'm playing some league. I was gonna film a little earlier, but Sarah was talking too much. Um, so yeah, I'm about six minutes into the game. Don't worry, I backed and that's why I can film this right now and talk. Bruh, I'm trolling myself. Here's my game right now. I'm playing Brand as per usual. Um, I haven't died yet. Um, but yeah, I figured if I got six, I had like 10% health. Oh no, I would have died because this duo right now is not fun. Oh, but our Swain is coming to help. All right, I gotta put this down so I can play. Goodbye. By the way, if you're curious how that game went, um, it went well, but my KDA was so bad. I did nothing this game, but I did do a little bit of damage at least. I did like third most of my team. So like I was still doing damage and we won the game, which is good, but oh, yikes. I'm gonna play another. So I think I'm gonna end the day today by taking a shower because I feel kind of really gross, especially after going on that walk. And then I'll probably play a few more games of League. That is the plan. And then tomorrow we are gonna go to Activate. So maybe I'll try filming a little bit of that if I can. If not, not a big deal. Or maybe instead of gaming, I'll edit some vlogs tonight. Probably not. Also, whenever I look off, it's because I'm literally looking at myself. Bit of a narcissist, but... I look so different in the mirror compared to... Like, why is mirror me nicer than this me? Camera me needs to, like, step up. Anyways, I'm gonna go shower now. Okay, so we went to Umbomong. I was about to leave, and then I saw this, and I thought, that's so cute and so unnecessary, but I'm gonna get it. Um, because at the moment... I have it on this. Oh, Tony came in. Anyways, so yeah, I got this. I also got potato and cucumber face mask. And um, I want to try this Asian mascara because I don't know. Usually I just get drugstore stuff anyways. So we're gonna open it. Look how cute this is. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. And into your corner you go. Okay, so I just finished showering. Um, so this is like my bare face and I did some of my skincare. But yeah, this is my skin, very red. So I bought some face masks. We're gonna do the potato one. So my reasoning for getting the potato mask is um, 
my mom has this thing where whenever we get like a burn or something you cut up cold potatoes and then put that on like the burn and it helps to relieve the burn and stop it from swelling and stuff i think it's a korean thing and so i was like okay maybe that's like that'll like help with the redness because it'll like pull out some of the inflammation or something so that's my logic behind this um so we're gonna try it out and see how that goes good morning I woke up only like an hour ago and then I scrolled for like probably like an hour on TikTok. I just washed up and did my makeup. Yeah, it's kind of gloomy out today, but I think we are going to go to activate. I think I'm going to go down, get some coffee. I think I remember at one point my mom called me and said that she was going to buy me jumpong or something like that. So I don't think they're home yet, but if that's the case, I'm down for jumpong um, and that'll be my breakfast. Other than that, I think I'm gonna grab some coffee right now and go from there. All right, let's head down. Good morning, Benny. I made some good coffee. <laughs> this tastes good. Usually I don't make it very good, so it's a good day so far. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. 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 <laughs> All right, so I just got changed. Um, gonna go to shoppers and then we're gonna go pick up Sarah because she's walking over to the bank right now, and then we're gonna go to activate.
Game over. Out of lives. Replay off. Yeah, you just said it could be this Very tiring. Sweating a lot. We're gonna do it's push again. So it's a more relaxing one. They're talking about golf. And it helps him like figure out where you're standing. It's not there. But a lot of fun. <laughs> Austin's way up at number 10. Goes top Winnipeg. Damn. Oh, Oh, it shows all of them. Damn. Wait, but we were just crazy. Ten losses. Just couldn't win. And then we decided we could try ten two more. We're all done. We're heading home. It was a lot of fun, a lot of sweating. But as you can see from the stats, we did pretty good, I think. We had fun, anyways. Um, I kind of want to go to McDonald's, maybe get some food. But we'll see. We'll see what the others want. I kind of want like a drink or something. So maybe the hot milkshakes. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't open this in one hand. Oh, I'm doing it. So new plan, I decided that I am going to hula hoop because my waist finally doesn't feel bruised um, and I've been meaning to for the past little while. So that is what I'm currently doing. Probably going to do this for about 15 minutes maybe. Um, we'll see how I feel and then I'll go inside and do some stuff with the computer or something. I don't know, but it's a good Sunday. I just came back in from hula hooping. I ended up going for like 30 minutes, which is a lot longer than I thought. But I just wanted to also mention that I forgot that they gave us free water bottles if we got, I think it was like 150 stars that you need or 100, something like that. And so, yeah, so this time we made it and we all got free water bottles, which is super cool. We last minute decided to go to Activate and it was super fun. Um, so yeah, if you're in the Winnipeg area, I think they have uh, two or three locations across Canada. Um, Definitely check that out because it was actually a really good time and you get a water bottle. Yeah, stay hydrated, folks. <laughs> it's important. Benji, but Benji's usually good on his own. Tony likes to have people around, so he always <laughs> sticks his head under my feet now. <laughs> Why did I feel bad? Because <laughs> sometimes I forget to tell Sarah and she goes to like kiss his head and I'm just like, oh, by the way, 
Robin, <laughs> he stuck his head under my foot again. <laughs> Here, I'm finally gonna vlog a bit. Here's my melted cold brew. Um, I have not done much, but I'm getting there. Most likely I will not start a new vlog today, but hopefully I'll finish this one. I also just remembered that I needed to do laundry, so I brought my laundry down. But in the meantime then, I need to start putting away my current clothes and actually hanging them up because so far they've just been sitting in boxes. Um, and so I have not been really wearing them because I'm like, oh, I have no clothes. Um, so I just need to put them away in the closet. So. Yeah, that is what I am gonna do right now and take a break on this stuff. The closet's starting to look a little more full. I don't know how much more clothes I have, but clearly I have too much clothes, much more than I thought, so. I'll have to put away majority of the rest of it after Sarah leaves, but for now, this looks good. I don't really know what I last filmed, but I feel like this might be the end of the vlog, so this is me attempting to make a conclusion? That's not it. What is it called? An outro, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this with me. I don't actually know what is in this vlog so it's kind of hard to make um, a conclusion or anything um but we for sure went to activate and that was a lot of fun and we um ate a lot of food because i remember filming a lot of food so there's that and my walks so um yeah i feel like i'm probably gonna include all of that and if not well that was probably in the last vlog so i hope you enjoyed that last time but yeah thanks for coming with me and I'm gonna go wash up, edit a little more, and then head to bed when my laundry is finally done. Good night! See you next time!